bowling is more than just a game. There's no talking on the green. Continue at 1972 prices. And nothing is soft. It's bigger right up the front. Welcome to Without Bias. Apia, dedicated specialists ready to help. Call 13 50 50. Apia, get set, go. Uh, very good evening and welcome to Without Bias, our dedicated lawn bowl show, part of the Sporting Capital on SEN. Uh, Sam Hargraves is my name, uh, 0433 98 uh, Send through uh, any of your, your feedback, your questions, your input. Uh, if you are a lawn bowls devotee, we'd love to hear from you. Big show coming up, the number one ranked female bowler in Australia, Dawn Heyman, will be on the program shortly. But before we get to her, it's an absolute pleasure to have uh, a man who's going to be at the forefront of a brand new BP franchise. The Bowls Premier League has taken Lawn Bowls by storm. If you don't know what the BPL is and you're not too familiar with Lawn Bowls, think Big Bash Cricket, but for Lawn Bowls. It's fast, it's fun, it's loud, it's a spectator driven sport. It's on uh, TV rights um, with Fox. It's a real show and often tends to be a real show stopper and uh, it's absolutely taken the nation by storm and there's a new franchise coming in, the Tasmania Trident. So where the AFL drags its feet, not lawn bowls. Uh, the Tasmania Tridents will join the BPL and uh, the person at the forefront of that, a new member of the team, is Mark Knights, who's been good enough to jump on the line. Mark, hello to you. Hello, Sam. Thanks for having me. Uh, congratulations on being selected uh, for the new BPL franchise. Um, before we get to that, um, just take us through the, the, the COVID landscape in Tassie and uh, what effect has that had on you guys being able to bowl at this time of year, if any? Uh, I, I guess we've been one of the lucky corners of the country down in Tasmania. It, it hasn't. It did affect us quite severely about 12 months ago, as it did the rest of the country. But the last lot of it that's going around the country at the moment, we've been lucky enough to miss it. And um, yeah, nothing's really, nothing's. It, it's not really setting us back at the moment. Um, it, it could be just a matter of time, but. Currently, we're doing pretty good. So let's get to the, the BPL franchise, the Tasmania Tridents. How excited uh, are you and how exciting is this for bowls in Tasmania? Oh, look, it's exciting both personally and also for bowls in Tasmania. Uh, this announcement was only made on Friday last week. So um, since then, four days later, the whole bowls community in Tasmania is behind us. Uh, we're getting so much support. It's fantastic. Everyone's loving the colours. They're loving the name. Um, us as players, we're thrilled to be part of it. We've watched 13 instalments of the BPL now and um, it, we've just been hanging out for a Tassie team and now here it is. We can't wait. So talk to us about uh, BPL from your eyes. Uh, it seems to be revolutionary uh, for what it's brought to Lawn Bowls. Um, it's got a great atmosphere and vibe about it. What do you love most about it, Mark? Oh, well, listening to your intro, it's, it's exactly everything you said. It is the big bash of lawn bowls. With only five ends per set, you know, every bowl is crucial on every end and most sets are going to come down to that last one or two bowls of the fifth end to decide the set, whether you win it or lose it. So I think that's the excitement factor for the players and also for the spectators. You're not going to know who's going to win those sets until the very last bowl's played. Mark, your team's made up of your good self, Rebecca Van Ash, uh, and young star on the rise, Talon Mail. Um, how much have you had to do with these guys? And uh, tell us uh, what your expectations would be just uh, with the names on paper before you've even rolled a, a ball in anger, so to speak. Oh, Beck and I, I made the Tasmanian State side for the first time about 20 years ago, and, and Beck would be probably 16 or 18 years when she made her debut for Tasmania. So whenever we've been around the country playing interstate test matches and things like that, she's been in the ladies' side, I've been in the men's side. So um, I've never played a game with or against Beck, but we've been on the green a lot together representing Tasmania. And young Talon, um, I first met him when he was about 12 years old. He came to Burnie, which was my club. And he got straight into our top side and he led us to a premiership as a leader. And um, he's just returned to the club again last year. And lo and behold, we've won a premiership with him again. I've also won last year's state pairs with Taylor. So Taylor and I have had a lot of success together on the green. Um, and, well, Rebecca, everyone around Australia knows what 
Rebecca's done. Um, as I said, I've never played with or against her in a game, but I can't wait. I, you know, just to team up with Taylor, the success we've had together, and now to get on the green with Beck and, and try and you know produce the goods with her it's just really exciting for me and and it, i know for all three of us it's really exciting for all of us uh brilliant lot the sound of that um we've got a question coming off the text uh talking to mark knights our first guest on without bias this evening uh we do it all for bowls australia local legends wanted search bowls clubs near me and for apia proudly supporting bowls australia uh, Mark, one of the new members of the Tassie Trident's uh, BPL franchise in the Bowls Premier League. Uh, this question's come in uh, from Zach off the text. Uh, Hi, Mark. Is Bowls big in Tassie? How, how big a chance are you to be successful early? And who are some of the best players in Tassie? Um, and obviously, your good self is including in that, Mark. And uh, obviously, the names you mentioned too, Taylor and, uh, and, and Beck. Yeah, that's right. There's Taylor and, and uh, Beck, obviously. Um, Mark Strochnet is coming up. He's our coach. Um, a lot of players around the country would recognise his name. Um, the younger players, we've got a few younger ones down here who are all part of Bowls Australia Pathways programs. Josh Appleyard, Josh Walker-Davis. Um, there's other ones. Will Code as well is another one. Isaac Moore. And then there's a couple of young ladies as well. Um, Georgia Moore and Lauren Banks. So all these young guys and girls, you know, they're, they're the... They're going to get their chance in the future uh, going through the Pathways program with Bowls Australia. And this is the sort of thing that they're going to knuckle down now and they're going to be the future of the BPL team for the Tassie Tridents. So how big is this for, for clubs in Tasmania to get a BPL franchise? Because hopefully that means that then the events can come to you, the BPL events. How big a boost is it for Bowls in the state, Mark? I think it's one of the biggest boosts that I've ever seen. Um, simply because everyone in Tasmania, they know what the BPL is. We watch it every year. It is fun. It is exciting. And we've all got those players that we like to watch. It, it might be um, Aaron Wilson. It, it might be, you know, Chloe Stewart or Kelsey Cottrell or someone like that. You know, Karen Murphy, Steve Glasson, when he first got in. They're all massive names in the bowls world. And we've all watched them and supported them. But now Tassie's got its own team. So they're going to want to see, though, they're going to want to see, you know, Karen Murphy's team lose. They're going to want to see Aaron Wilson's team lose. They're going to want to see them lose only when they play against the Tassie Tridents, most likely. But they're just going to get behind us. And they already have. The Tasmanian Bowls community's got behind us so quickly and strongly. You know, we're feeling that already, and we can't wait to step on the green and, and show our support and, and show our strength to the Tassie community. Mark, do you enjoy the showtime of it all? Uh, the, the TV rinks, how do they sit with you performing on those? I think it's fine. I've played a couple of games on TV, um, so that doesn't worry me personally. I know Beck, it wouldn't worry her either. Taylor, he might be a little bit, you know, apprehensive. He hasn't played any games on TV, I don't think. Um, but it, it's, I think it's fantastic. I think the noise, you know, the light show, um, everything... It's just very exciting from a spectator's point of view and a viewer's point of view. And at the end of the day, that's what's going to promote bowls. And are you guys in from the very next BPL event or is there a bit of a waiting period? No, BPL 14, we're in from the next one. I like the sound of that. Hey, Mark, congratulations. Uh, great to hear from you just exactly how big this is for bowls in Tasmania, how much of a shot in the arm it's going to be and how important it is to bowls in your state, mate. We wish you all the best. It's a great team that you guys have been able to assemble. Um, last question, where are you guys going to be based? Where are we going to be based? Well, we uh, Beck's a Launceston-based player and Taylor and I both play out of Burnie, which is on the northwest coast. Um, we're about a, we're only 150 kilometres away from each other, so you know it wouldn't hurt that we can easily meet up in the middle or or have a bit of a session either at Burnie or over in the Launceston area with Beck. It's not going to be too hard to meet up and have a few sessions together. Well, mate, enjoy that. Uh, thanks for having a chat to us, and we look forward to seeing you guys in action for BPL 14. Awesome, can't wait. Thanks, Sam. Uh, Mark Knight's there, inaugural member of the Tasmania Tridents, uh, who will be in action from BPL 14, the next BPL event. You are listening to Without Bias. We do it for Bowls Australia and for Apia. Plenty more still to come. Our next guest is the number one ranked female bowler in the country. Dawn Heyman will be up next on Without Bias. 
from the wide outdoors to the great indoors. This is Without Bias. Brought to you by Apia. Proudly supporting Bowls Australia. Local legends wanted. A Bowls Green is just up the road. Search Bowls Clubs near me. Uh, welcome back to Without Bias, our dedicated lawn bowl show, part of the sporting capital on SEN. If you missed our chat with Mark, he's a member of the new Tasmania Tridents BPL franchise, sen.com.au, and you go to the Without Bias page and you'll never miss an episode. We do it all for Bowls Australia. Local legends wanted to Bowls Green is just up the road. Search Bowls Clubs near me and for Apia, dedicated specialists ready to help, call 13 13- 50 An absolute thrill to have our next guest on. Currently the number one ranked female bowler in Australia, Jackaroo Dawn Heyman, has been good enough to jump on the line. Hello to you, Dawn. Hi, how are you going? Oh, I'm really well, thanks. Um, first things first, we, we've been asking this a lot of our uh, bowlers and jackaroos and coaches when we speak to them on Without Bias. How are things for you currently in lockdown? Yeah, well, as for everyone, I suppose it's been pretty tough. Um, here in New South Wales, um, we've been locked down for you know, about 12 weeks, I think it is now. So, you know, I was straight into lockdown um, as soon as I got home from the Australian Open. Um, But, you know, I've just been trying to keep busy. Um, I've done a few things around the house, um, built some veggie gardens and some flower gardens. So I've spent a lot of time looking after that. What are we planting? me a little bit occupied. What are we planting Um, the veggie garden? (laughs) I've got some radishes and Brussels sprouts and lettuce, tomatoes. Yeah, so it's going really well. Are we, are we going to, when, when things open up again, should we be looking out for farmers markets uh, in and around your area for you to be selling oh, your look, wares? I, I wouldn't go that far just yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, a little birdie tells me that uh, you're actually doing some homeschooling with your nephew as well. Yeah, um, so I've got four nephews. Um, they're in kindergarten, year five, year six, and year eight. So it's a bit of a variety. Um, it's been pretty challenging for me to try and you know, help them with their work. I've got to kind of remember what I learned at school so I can help them with their work. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely been challenging. I've been doing it for 10 weeks now, so this week's the last week, thank God. <laughs> um, well, hang in there. Hang in there. It's a very nice thing that you're doing. When it comes to, to Bowls Dawn, um, you can't get on the green. So what have you been working on while you've had to be off it? Yeah, um, I've taken the time just to get really into my um, physical fitness. So, you know, as we're in lockdown, I've been taking a chance to go out and about and go for walks and stuff with my dog and my partner and my sister. Um, And then just doing some strength work with some dumbbells and stuff that I have at home. And how, when, when you're in a situation like this, how hard is it to maintain that discipline to keep doing those things that you need to doing when, especially when you can't do the thing that you'd really like to be, and that's actually being on the green and training, you know, your craft. Yeah, I guess you just have to keep it in the back of your mind that, you know, we're going to get back to bowls eventually. So it's working on what you need to do to stay in the in the physical shape that you need to to be able to go back out and compete like you were. So when it comes to the support from uh, the Jackaroo squad, uh, how, how vital has that been just to keep you... Uh, you know, your mind clear and, and to be on task and um, to continue on with what you need to be doing? Yeah, being a part of the Jackaroos family, it's it's a very special thing. Um, you know, we're constantly in contact with one another and we've been catching up with um, some regular Zoom meetings to have a chat about where everyone's at, um, you know, what we've been up to. Uh, it's a good chance to see everyone face-to-face as well, considering we haven't seen each other, you know, most of us since the Australian open um some of us before that but you know it's, it's just a good time to touch base see where everyone's at uh, if you need to ask any questions and stuff like that so yeah it's been really good we get a lot of players just uh, every week telling us just how much of a, a tight-knit family and how vital that tight-knit family has been uh, in terms of what's happening with lockdown and and through this time um and and players such as yourself just cannot speak highly enough of the support network in and around bowls australia yeah, they've been absolutely brilliant. You know, if there's anything we need, um, they're always open to talk to. Um, and just, you know, talking to the players, we're all in the same boat, so we, we can understand each other quite well. So how much of a tragic are you, Dawn? Do you, when when there's no bowls, are you watching old bowls contests? Do you go back and look at footage and tapes and, and things like that? Or do you try and uh, keep your mind clear from it when you can't do it? Yeah, look, to be honest, um, I've just 
taken um, a couple of big steps away. I haven't really looked into too much. Like if something pops up on Facebook, I'll have a bit of a look. But, you know, I just kind of miss it too much and I get a bit jealous. <laughs> um, you know, I was watching something on Facebook from Queensland yesterday and I was a bit jealous that I couldn't be out there playing myself. Yeah, and no, I, I, I think that'd be there'd be a lot in that boat. And and what does I know? Obviously, you're all very supportive of each other, but there would be pangs of jealousy, wouldn't there, when you, you're seeing some of your teammates being able to get out there when, unfortunately, it's not something that you can do. And and then I suppose your mind goes to the fact that geez, we're not far away from com game selection. Yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, I've used the Olympics and the Paralympics as kind of like a hunger I suppose I've, I've got the hunger back to get want to get back onto the green um to try and cement a spot in the com games team um being so um so close um that's obviously what everyone's goal is at the moment so from a technique point of view um how do the coaches continue to help you with things like that um have you been able to set up something at home where you can you know work on your delivery things like that um not so much i think we've just mainly been working on you know, what What can we do outside of bowls um, to get ourselves into the right perspective to get the Common game, Commonwealth game selection? Um, so, you know, things that like goal planning and, and just like little goals to get to the main goal of being selected into the Commonwealth Games. When you were able to bowl, you, you actually enjoyed a really strong finish to the 2020, uh, the 2020 2021 season. Uh, congratulations on that. How much did that mean to you to be able to finish the year as strongly as you did? Yeah, no, it was really good. I was very happy to to finish um, on top of the rankings um, for the first time ever. So it was quite special. But, you know, it's not one of those things that you go out there and you try and finish on top of the rankings. It kind of just happened for me. Um, but it it, um, it was very close at the end with, with all the standings. Um but it's good just to look back now and, and you know, feel proud of my achievements um, throughout that time, which led me to being, yeah, the number one. And it's a phenomenal achievement. Um, do you have to pinch yourselves at times when you look at some of the names that you've been able to trump uh, in, in that space? Yeah, definitely. There's been um, some quite good females. Like, I know Tash Van Eldick's got it quite a few times. So, yeah, it's really good to put my name with the rest of them. So, apart from the number one ranking, what was your highlight from a, a bowls point of view um, to finish out the, that season? Um, probably debuting for the Perth Suns um, yeah. in the BPL. Yeah, that was quite quite a thrill for me. Um, I had great fun competing for them. So, yeah, I think I made everyone over in Perth um, quite happy with my performances. And, yeah, it was just great fun to be a part of that. The, 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 I've got to hand it to the players. I remember when... Big Bash came into cricket and there was a lot of people that went, no, 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 no. That's not what we're about. That's not the tradition. It would seem to me, though, that the the, the bowls fraternity have absolutely embraced Premier League bowls uh, to a person and and therefore its launch has been an out-and-out success and it's done wonders for the sport and for all those who have been able to participate in it. Yeah, it's been great. Not, like, not only for the players, the players have a thrill playing in it, but, yeah, it's just that fun, fast format that um, the crowd love. You know, being live there, the crowd just absolutely get into it. And I'm sure it's the same back home. People just love it. So, Dawn, um, what are the goals for when you can get back on the green? What are your 2021-2022 goals? Look, I think mainly just getting back on the green for a start and getting back into some big competitions. Um, but, you know, obviously, like everyone else in the Jackaroo squad, my main goal is to get selected in the Commonwealth Games. So I'll be trying everything I can to try and get a selection in that. Well, we wish you all the best with it, Dawn. It's been great to catch up with you. Uh, hang in there with lockdown, and hopefully sooner rather than later, you'll be back out doing what you're so amazing at and what you love um, sooner rather than later. Thanks so much for joining us on Without Bias. No, thanks very much for having me. Uh, Dawn Heyman, number one ranked female bowler in Australia right now and current Jackaroo. Remember that name. Uh, bigger and better things even uh, await, we think, um, for a future star and current star of the sport. Hey, uh, right at home, uh, bowler of the week this week, right at home, aged care at home. Right at home is Australia's leading provider of home care and disability support. Uh, congratulations to Australian Parrot Sport Jackaroo, Jake Felberg, who was part of the Division 4 men's pennant flag for the Bundaberg District. It's an amazing effort from an absolutely superb talent. So well done to Jake and, and the rest of the squad.
and he is a very deserving nominee for our Ride at Home Player of the Week. Ride at Home for the best quality in disability support, aged and nursing care right at home. Hey, that's it from us on Without Bias. If you missed any of the chats we had, you can jump on sen.com.au and go to the Without Bias podcast page and uh, you'll never miss a moment by downloading that and enjoying uh, at your leisure. Plenty more of the sporting capital continue uh, on the other side of this.